Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I want to take the next 15 minutes or so and introduce to you the ARP Wave system, a patented pain and injury elimination system, literally unlike any other. One that's so proven and effective on acute and chronic pain, it's now used by more than 600 NFL players and 2,000 of the world's most elite professional athletes who trust their multi-million dollar careers to us. Dallas Peak Performance and Rehab is the only facility in North Texas with this patented technology. So, what separates us from everyone else and what is the foundation of what we do? Well, while everyone else is treating the pain where it ended up, we find and treat the neurological origin of what caused it in the first place. If you treat the neurological origin, you eliminate the physiological symptom. Okay, so what is the ARP Wave system? The ARP Wave system is a patented FDA authorized soft tissue rehab system that can diagnose the origin of what's causing the injury and eliminate it 60 to 80 percent faster than traditional therapy. What we've done is combined direct current with a high frequency double exponential waveform that's harmonious to the body and goes through healthy tissue but the wave stops at scar tissue and inflammation, allowing us the ability to locate the scar tissue or neurological disconnect, if you will, without the impedance of fatty tissue or causing harm to the patient. Electrical stim, laser, ultrasound, Graston, PT, etc. cannot diagnose and eliminate the symptom permanently. We can. The ARP wave system is able to treat the patient with DC current and our waveform with active movement, breaking down the scar tissue and allowing the muscles to lengthen and absorb force, but more importantly, neurologically eliminating the compensatory patterns that help cause this issue in the first place. That is absolutely crucial. Traditional injury rehab is anywhere from 8 to 10 plus weeks and the patient is still symptomatic because the origin has been left untreated. ARP wave therapy is anywhere from 10 to 14 days and the patient is pain free and symptom free. ARP patients leave stronger and faster than before the injury in almost all cases. So at the end of 20 sessions the patient is pain free and symptom free but more importantly is moving again in correct neurological form. No other medical modality or therapy can replicate this success. So who is ARPWAVE? Well, ARP is a 15-year-old company privately owned and based out of Apple Valley, Minnesota. Dennis Thompson is the CEO and co-founder with President Jay Schroeder. ARP is the outright owner of the patented ARPWAVE system and whose protocols have now become patented as well. ARPWAVE has treated more than 100,000 patients with an enviable track record of success of better than 95%. Dallas Peak Performance and Rehab is a privately owned company with locations in Dallas and now in Miami and Los Angeles, California. It is managed by head therapist and ARP Wave expert Paula Wallen. Dallas Peak Performance was responsible for the launch of the highly successful Tommy John Surgery Elimination Program, eliminating more than 40 plus cases to date as of December 2014 and growing. Dallas Peak Performance and Rehab is now considered the leading authority on rapid Tommy John rehab and prevention. Dallas Peak Performance and Rehab has been featured in the Boston Globe, Miami Herald, CEO World Magazine, Milwaukee Sentinel, Fort Worth Star-Telegram, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, Fox News, and many more e-media outlets for their exemplary work on Tommy John and rapid injury recovery success. Now, what I want to do right now is talk about why traditional pain management and rehab is ineffective. Well, we are an electrical being run by a nervous system. And just like a car needs shocks to absorb force, our body needs muscles to absorb force. The nervous system turns these shock absorbers on, if you will, to absorb and create force. If you fail to repair your car shocks, you ruin the frame. Well, guess what? you fail to repair your shocks, eventually you will ruin your frame. It's really that simple. This is a neurological issue. It's not a physiological one. Unfortunately, medicine today 
treats injuries and pain physiologically and afterwards the patient is still symptomatic and the physiological problem will reappear again and again and again because the origin has been left untreated. So with that being said, what causes pain and injury? Well, when a person attempts to perform any movement, a signal from the brain is sent for that supporting muscle or muscles to absorb the appropriate force, whether running or throwing a baseball or getting out of a chair. Again, this is a neurological function. However, the neurological signal to turn on the muscles is impeded due to scar tissue, thus creating what's called a neurological disconnect. This force has to go somewhere, so it's sent to secondary locations to absorb this load, most notably areas of the body not meant to absorb force, i.e. the knee, the elbow, shoulder, etc. And this vicious cycle continues until repetition causes the area to break down, supporting muscles or ligaments to tear, or inflammation becomes so extreme the person seeks medical help. Until the origin of the cause is treated, all the rehab, strength training, ice, heat, laser, ultrasound, rest, and therapy in the world is useless. The symptom will never disappear, period. Now let's talk about the power of the arc wave system and the three-step process we use in giving patients a pain-free life. The first and most important step of the arc wave system is what we aptly call search and destroy. The patient will perform a movement to gouge their pain level, basing it on a scale of 1 to 10. Then, using the arc wave device, we then scan the area of the injury to find the neurological origin or disconnect, if you will. Our patented waveform goes directly through healthy tissue but stops at scar tissue and inflammation. The patient uh, lets us know if it's a 10 in intensity, which tells us that this is the origin. And I can tell you right now, it's never ever where the pain is ending up. For example, in Tommy John cases, it's never the elbow or the UCL. Once we find the first location, we scan to find its connection, and from there, we treat with our patented protocol for that specific injury. In this case here, for the knee, we found the VMO and the quad. These two muscles were not turning on fast enough, and thus the force kept going to the knee, causing pain. Next, the patient performs the patented and proprietary protocol on the ARP wave device at five reps over four different levels of intensity on the ARP wave for that specific injury. At the end of the first session, pain level will be at least 25% less and range of motion 25% greater. By the end of the fourth search and destroy session, the patient's pain level will be close to zero or is zero, and with that, they will experience a vast increase in range of motion. The muscles that were not lengthening and firing properly are now holding in a center contraction, meaning they're lengthened. And this force that was going to the knee, for example, is now being transferred back to the muscles since they are now turning on fast enough to absorb this load. No force going to the knee means no more pain. This goes for any body part that we treat, whether it's the shoulder, the UCL, the hip, the neck, or etc. Step two of our 20 session treatment is what we call force absorption. Sessions five through 10, the patient is taking it through proprietary protocols different from the first four in search and destroy. We're using these protocols to build up the muscle's ability to absorb and create force for long durations of time. So at the end of each session, the patient does the movement at half speed for 10 reps or throws or jogs or whatever movement they're trying to emulate until a pain level of three. If pain level of three is not hit, then they conduct the movement at max effort until a pain level of three, then they stop. Each session feeds off the last, so by the tenth session, that patient stops because of exhaustion, not because of pain. They're now cleared to go back on the playing field or everyday activity. It's the norm to see athletes and everyday people back in under 14 days, pain-free, and symptom-free. Now let's talk results. 
prior to the ARP wave therapy, in this example here, force distribution was going to the knees, for example, because the signal from the brain to fire these supporting muscles was not getting through fast enough due to scar tissue causing a neurological disconnect, and thus the majority of this force went to the knee, causing pain and discomfort. This problem was strictly neurological. It was not physiological. post arp wave therapy, however, the neurological signal is now getting through, allowing the muscles to fire and turn on fast enough, which means the force is no longer going to the knee in this example, but transferred back to the appropriate muscle, so the shock absorbers, if you will, where it should have been going all along. Pain and symptom eliminated. And these are the results you can expect, whether it's tennis elbow or Tommy John or knee, back, or any other body part. However, this cannot be accomplished through PT, strength training, laser, ultrasound, e-stimp, ART, Graston, etc., because they are not able to deal with pain and injury from a neurological standpoint. What I want to go over now is three questions I get asked a lot about the ARP wave system. The first is, how is the patient now out of pain? Well, as I stated in the last slide, and it bears repeating, the signal for the muscles to absorb and create force is no longer impeded. The force of the movement is transferred out of the susceptible area and back to the supporting muscles. No undue force on the knee or elbow, UCL, hip, shoulder, etc. equals no pain. The second question is, why couldn't I strengthen the muscles instead? Because size, speed, and strength does not prevent injury. If a muscle does not turn on fast enough, no amount of PT or strength training in the world will prevent injury. That is strictly neurological. Last question is, I get asked all the time is, how long will this last? Well, it's permanent. The neurological disconnect has been eliminated and the compensatory action that helped cause this issue has been broken by re-educating the correct movement neurologically at 500 times per second. Okay, let's finish with step three, which is neuro strength training. The final 10 sessions, we take the patient through our ARP wave neuro strength training program. What we're going to do is neurologically strengthen these muscles that have not been firing properly for who knows how many years. And we're going to reinforce everything we've done to this point from a neurological standpoint and a physiological standpoint. At the culmination of these 20 sessions, the patient is now asymptomatic and the muscles are neurologically firing on all cylinders like they were intended to do. Does the ARP wave work? Meet Dwight Freeney. NFL All-Pro Defensive End. He suffered a grade 3 ankle sprain and three torn ligaments in the AFC Championship game. Was told he'd be out 12 to 15 weeks and absolutely missed the Super Bowl. Well, he got on the ARP wave 12 days before the Super Bowl. And on Super Bowl Sunday, was cleared to play and the MRI showed complete healing. Even recording a sack in the big game. Three torn ligaments and a grade 3 ankle sprain, and he was back 100% in under two weeks. That's the power of the ARP wave system. But more than Dwight Freeney, we have some of the world's most elite pro and amateur athletes who trust their careers to the ARP wave system. 600 plus NFL players, 250 plus NHL players, 200 plus NBA players. 100 plus Major League Baseball players, numerous NCAA players and teams, hundreds of players in the Barclays Premier Soccer League, Masters champions and players from the PGA Tour, and many more from the ATP. Here are some recent statements regarding the efficacy and power of the ARP wave system. Go ahead and pause this presentation now so you have a chance to read them. I now want to briefly cover our Tommy John Surgery Elimination Program, a program we developed in conjunction with ARP that has a better than 95% track record of success. We developed this after we saw the huge epidemic that has seemed to sweep across the U.S. All of these major media outlets and more like them have been reporting vigorously 
on this surgery phenomenon which has showed no signs of slowing down. At Dallas Peak Performance and Rehab, we jumped on this epidemic as soon as possible, knowing full well that we could eliminate the need for Tommy John surgery in almost all cases if we simply treated the source using the patented ARP system and protocols. And eliminate we did. Fox News ran a feature story on the Tommy John epidemic and featured our success along with an interview of our satisfied patients. The Boston Globe and Miami Herald also picked up on our track record of getting patients back from UCL pain in record time, but more than that, saving seasons and careers. When it comes to preventing Tommy John surgery and eliminating elbow pain permanently, our better than 95% track record of success stands alone. What do other practitioners think about the revolutionary ARP wave system? Take a moment here and pause this page to read a couple testimonials from satisfied ARP wave experts. So let's talk about the bottom line and get right down to brass tacks. Until you treat the origin of the injury, everything else is useless, period. At Dallas Peak Performance and Rehab, we use the ARP wave system to diagnose and find the origin. And when we treat it, it's gone. The world's most elite professional athletes trust their multi-million dollar careers to Dallas Peak Performance in the ARP wave system. Shouldn't you? If you're injured or in pain and want to get back in days rather than weeks or months, the choice is yours. To set up a risk-free, no obligation treatment, call 469-513-4200 or email us at info at peakperformanceandrehab.com. This is going to change the way pain and injury is treated from here on out. Thanks for listening.